Hey guys, welcome back to Data with Dominic. And in today's video, um, I'm just going to take you through how you can display um, uh, Indian pin code locations in uh, Microsoft Power BI. So I'm going to, um, it's quite simple actually, but if you don't know the way to do it, uh, it seems like a complicated topic and it normally doesn't work out. So there's a simple fix for it and I'm going to be showing it to you um, through the lens of Microsoft Fabric, but it works the same whether you're using Power BI desktop uh, but and importing data sets or whether you're using service or whether you're using fabric the process is the same so once you watch the video you'll get the whole idea of how it should be done and you can implement it for yourself let's begin let me just go over to data engineering All right so i have this lake house and i've in there i've put this uh, sample data called uh, pincode.csv and uh, basically the key pieces of data that we do need um, for creating your or uh, plotting your pin code locations on a map is the state name and the exact pin code and the pin code should fall within that state name meaning it should be logically correct right so as you can see it's not clear here but we've got state and pin code available to us and both of this and you will need both of these available to you um, uh, for you to use or plot your pin code locations on a map of India so once you've got this, um, then what we just have to do is, we just have to do some pre-cooking. So what I'm gonna do is, a uh, workspace, create a new data flow gen two. All right, so once we're in data flow gen two, I'm just gonna get this data in here. So to do that, obviously, go to my one leg data hub. It's a good refresher on how to use the Power Query and data flow gen two as well. All right, so once we're in here, go to files, and then you can see we have pincode.csv. All right, so if you guys are working with uh, just uh, vanilla Power, um, Power BI desktop or Power BI service, um, just ignore the steps and follow the logic, right? So basically what we need to do is, um, first I'm just gonna promote the first row as headers because that's important, but what you basically need to do is you need to um, append or concatenate the state column and the pin code column uh, with a hyphen in between. And the state should be in obviously uh, first letter capital casing and pin codes should be um, of the text format if you want to concatenate it. So we have these two columns now, state in the correct uh, cases and pin code as text. And then what we need to do is uh, we can add a custom column, call this column such as something like place. And then we just add our state, insert column. And we need a space, a hyphen to space and another ampersand and then we can insert pin code. So basically the format is state space hyphen space the pin code and it should be logically correct and we can set it as text. All right, so there you can see we've got um, this place uh, data correct. And if you want, I'm just gonna add this one more column for some extra functionality for you. Uh, suppose we wanted a, a count column, we can just add one. Uh, why are we doing this? For now you can ignore this, I'll just, it'll become uh, clear to you later on and it's not important if you don't need it but just stay till the end to figure out why we're doing this it's quite helpful in some situations all right so we've just got this count column with a flag of one in each row uh, but the important thing is and for those coming from power bi desktop and power bi uh, service without using fabric you need to get your data into this format to be able to plot it on indian pin code the us zip codes will work as is where is like you can just plot them on a map but if you are using Indian pin codes, uh, you need the state uh, space hyphen space pin code format to be able to uh, use your data. So now that we've got the data in the format we need, we can uh, write to our lake house. Actually, what I'm going to do is just so that our data is, uh, you know, uh, not too heavy. What I'm just going to do is keep top rows i'm just going to do a hundred of the top rows so it's not uh, too intense for the compute i'm on a free trial and it's going to take a long lot of time otherwise 
So then we send the data to our lake house. Obviously this is only the fabric way. Uh, if you're working in any other implementation of Power BI, you just need to uh, basically get the data in that format of state hyphen uh, space hyphen space pin code and then you're good to go. I'll just, uh, it's important that you uh, use the right visuals as well and there's a couple of um, uh, modifications that you need to make in the visuals as well so please stay uh, till the end of the video to see that as well. So place obviously needs to be a text and count needs to be a whole number. That's uh, what you need to make sure of. Save settings and we can publish and run. So once the data has been pushed to your lake house and the uh, data flow refresh is ready, this is again only for fabric if you're working in the other ways, you just need to get your data in that format. Uh, basically, you can come to your table, uh, your lake house, check out the table, see that it's correct. So again, for everybody, you need to get your data in this format, which is uh, state name, space hyphen, space pin code. And if you want some intelligence built in, uh, you can put this count flag column, which should be of type uh, whole number or integer, and this should be of type text. So we create a new semantic model. We can call it pin code underscore SM. Put in my data warehouse. I mean, in my workspace. And the table name is pin code. Confirm. All right, so you can see we've got a lot of columns which have been summarized and made into uh, um, calculated columns such as age. All right, so what? Uh, that's not important based on your use case. You can take a look at all that. Uh, but for me, what's important is uh, that I just need to see that uh, uh, basically uh, this count has come as a summarized column and it's been uh, sort, it's been summarized by sum. So that's the imp only important thing. And we need to see that pin code has not been summarized and place has not been summarized. And these are in fact text, textual columns only, right? So they are text. So we should be good to go. So now I'm just going to create a new report. All right. So once we're in here, as you can see, we've got a number of uh, map visuals. We have just the map. We have field map. We have Azure map. And then we have this arc GIS map for Power BI. So I'm just going to show you what each of them look like in this scenario. I'm just going to make them a bit bigger. All right. So then obviously what we need to do is we just need to hit if you, all right. So if you want to see what happens, if you just plot a pin code, this is what it looks like. All right. And it's not even loading. That means the map is rendered completely and we don't have any data. All right. So no data here. So if we drop this pin code out and we hit place, you can see that we are starting to get some intelligence as to, we can start to see some of these pin codes uh, be plotted out in between, right? So similarly, just to get give you an idea of what field map is, field map is just, it. Uh, it draws out the state and based on how many people are in each state, it sort of darkens it. Azure map again, uh, not enabled. Okay, fair enough. Um, but what I want to make uh, sure you guys understand is that uh, I would always prefer that you use ArcGIS maps because it has a lot of customizability and it is definitely more accurate than the um, Azure, the vanilla Power BI maps, which is actually powered by Bing. And so, hence, they are not too great. All right, so we can see that some of these uh, plots are landing outside India. And I think those are because there might be some places with similar name and zip codes in Moscow or London or wherever it is showing. But uh, to fix this issue, what we can do is we can come in here to place location type represent locations as points and locations are in one country and then we specify that all the points need to be in India and then once we hit OK here and everything moves into India you'll see that all right right away we have zoomed into India and now all 
all these points fall within um, India India's location, right? And we can see some of these points have multiple uh, 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 there's some are darker than the others, which means that there's multiple locations there. So then what we can do is we can do symbology. We can do a heat map to sh see how many people are in each particular location. Or we go into this clustering here. you can see that we get even more detailed locations as to uh, within a particular uh, location, how many people are present. So I'm guessing in Karnataka here, we've got multiple locations around each other. All right, so this is how we can plot uh, pin codes so this is what we uh, basically needed and if you want to add um, basically we can remove this clustering uh, turn clustering off and now if you want to influence the bubble size for each pin code what we need to do is we just add uh, size to the size field we can drag that count so count will be summarized by uh, whatever data we had added in there uh, since obviously in this particular instance the the counts of data are so low it's just 100 and there's barely any repeated data we're not able to see it clearly but if there was repeated data uh, you would be able to see quite clearly that data is being that the bubble size are proportionate to how many people are living in that particular pin code so um, that's why we use that count already uh, so that gives you one idea and just uh, one more thing I wanted to point out was that if you want to uh, filter um, data by state or by city or something like that, we can just, uh, oh, sorry. Uh, we can just add a slicer in there. Right, and then to the slicer, if we drag state in here, now whenever we hit particular state we zoom in right there I'll just remove this uh, this size visual right for now because the data points are so small but what we do see is uh, we will be zoomed into Haryana and we get all the locations in Haryana so similarly if you go to Goa not many in Goa Haryana, we saw, suppose we see Kerala, we get zoomed in there, Jharkhand, we get zoomed into Jharkhand, so based on, obviously with more data, the the particular zooming of this ArcGIS visual will get better, but this is just a quick explainer on how you guys can um, implement Indian pin codes into these particular uh, um, visuals in Power BI. So that's it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, comment and hit the bell icon and I'll see you in the next one.